When it comes to Master Chief, there are a lot of different layers about him. He even has immunity to stuff that can make you digitize because the way his evolution was accelerated. He has weapons, he can shoot, he has accuracy, he has fighting. There's just a lot of different things, but let's get right into it. How strong is Master Chief? Spartan's gender is kind of irrelevant. I mean, they still end up being about 7 foot, about 400 pounds. They can bench press a tank, like we mentioned. So. By the end of the 25th century, humankind has settled a rapidly growing portion of the galaxy under the dominion of the United Nations Space Command, and with the use of slip space travel, over 800 planets have been colonized and populated but all empires suffer conflict and for the largest empire humanity has ever known this conflict is terrible unsc finds itself facing a full-blown insurrection and the real possibility of endless civil war this person has conscripted 75 children from across several star systems and brought them to reach to participate the project spartan 2 grueling challenge of body mind that pushes the limits of their stamina but one boy has proven himself above all others john now trainee 117 has been promoted to the squad leader, aka Master Chief himself. The man became legend, Master Chief. Halo is one of those sagas that I probably would have gotten into if they were actually third person. I've seen folks compare Master Chief to characters like Captain America because they're both technically super soldiers. It's just that Master Chief wears like this armor that you never see his face though. Due to its popularity, Halo is a saga that has a lot of continuity and extra lore. Since he is a soldier, he has to go through Spartan training, so he knows the definition of what hard work and dedication is. You can get an idea of Master Chief's fighting skills by his other Spartan people. They can use knives, very good, and melee combat. They're not just straight up shooters. You can see their close quarters combat. They have fighting arts like Aikido, Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga. Know how to learn new techniques from your opponent, acting as an advanced muscle memory that makes observing and memorizing techniques much easier. To this end, you will be paired with a Spartan who has already mastered the techniques you must learn. Master Chief, he was even offered to be an admiral, aka a promotion, but he was like, nah, I'm good. I think we all can agree that the term admiral doesn't have the same ring to it more occasion of their skills and fighting ability fighting through this massive army of prometheans and combat ability along with a squad of spartan they just some shoot them up types even though it'd be like three or four of them they still be mopping up mobs of different beings regardless of their lower numbers they have more value than their numbers <laughs> they're augmented in like multitude of different ways metabolic improvement organ implantation neurological series hormone regulation muscular skeletal engineering series ligament reconstruction skeletal florence latis skeletal re-engineering induced muscle growth a spartan baby these soldiers are literally augmented it in the books that go deeper into the lore of stuff like this but i got it right here on display for you bones that are almost unbreakable advanced material crafted onto skeletal structures they have muscular enhancement injection to increase tissue density and decrease lactate recovery time all this stuff is risk to their well-being though so these soldiers getting their lives put on the line they get stuff injected into them to boost skeletal and muscle tissue boosted blood vessel flow beneath the rods and cones of subjects retina produces a marked visual perception increase on top of their training they have literal augmentations which is why they're so unnaturally strong 300 percent increase in subject reflexes memory and creativity but of course this is a risk as well so they had to go through the burner to be like this saying his armor is a standard gear is his understatement we literally never hardly ever see him without his freaking mask on other than when he was freaking young not to mention his armors have improved as time goes by via upgrades and augmentation this pretty much means anything in the earlier part of his career wearing the armor when it comes to strength speed reactions and etc the end of the series saga's armor should be able to do anything this one's can do way better same with these ones before there's a difference in strength between when he's not wearing armor even when he's grown up versus when him with the armor because the armor itself actually increase the user's strength for example the mark six suit for example gives him a strength boost by a multiplier of five along with the standard improvements like the other helmets had like titanium helmet back detail energy shields he uses guns if you didn't know since he's a soldier better than any other armors previously in any way it has denser yet less bulky armor plating biofoam a medical element which enables the suit to treat injuries self-sufficiently the biofoam in these suits even helps from gruesome injuries even folks that are not necessarily master chief himself but other soldier people that wear these outfits to use biofoam can recover from crazy headshot injuries and one can say a relatively short amount of time all thanks to their standard gear how's the skull the biofoam fixed everything except the splitting headache letting you know how prepared these folks are in this gear i mean i guess that's what happens when you take these kids from their families kidnapping them and training them since they was young 
These suits also give them energy shields to help protect them against extra upcoming damage. This suit in particular, or just suit improvements over the years, allow them to recharge their energy shields a lot faster to where they can use their shields a lot more. You get upgrades over the years like this suit, the Mjolnir Gen 2. They got a name similar to Thor's hammer. This Mjolnir Generation 2 has built-in thrusters for better maneuverability across the battlefield. Thanks to this particular armor, they can technically fly around while shooting and etc. doing their job. The Spartans, their magnetic boots allow them to walk on vertical surfaces something you see like this you got to respect it older armors had uis so of course the newer ones have uis because whatever they can do the newer ones can do better their helmet has a literal ui inside their helmet so it can help them in battlefield even better when it comes to their tech to the point where even older armors are like obsolete let you know there's nothing older ones can do the new ones can't i guess it was all obsolete anyway your new suit's a mark six just came up from song name this morning try and take it easy until you get used to the upgrades without any armor he effort defeat an elite group of UNSC Marines while just 14. They wanted to go in there and bully him, but they ended up losing their lives. That was a big mistake. And he wasn't wearing no armor. It was just him showing his super stage in hand. With his other soldiers, they wiped out an army of 100 Covenant Zealots and a Field Marshal working together. Of course, he wasn't on his own doing this, but he was a little bit younger. Like, I'm talking about 15 years old younger. But thanks to a mixture of a lot of different things, their armor can actually cloak itself just in case you didn't know. They shoot, fight all the folks off because they're highly trained. It was a lot of different beings they had to fight or in their own regardless of all this they cleaned how kind of showing their accuracy because they have to dodge attacks too while they're fighting reacting and f doing attacks coordinated with one another planning their moves out and they take them out you can see different spartans using melee combat here or just straight up shooting them up you can see their fighting ability in action with fred and kelly all these opponents they got to fight on their own they literally run up to them and shooting in the process using the combination of all the different skills, the different gear they possess. Speed running through them. Their guns have a lot of blast power. If you can't tell, by the way. To make matters worse, this is only in the Mark IV armor. They can blast off limbs. They're very agile with accuracy, marksmanship. But just being the three of them, just soloing, literally. Don't sleep on the Spartans. They got skills with grenade. Accuracy seems to be crazy. They can look how high he can jump. As you can see, physicals, they're already augmented. Then they got the armor on top of them so they can jump like this in the air very high. Not to mention they have thrusters and new armors. This is old armor. You can see the... It's confirmed that he's the greatest Spartan. His marksmanship is insane. His battle IQ is just ridiculous. Can use two different guns at one time and with great accuracy. And take on a whole bunch of brute by himself in raw fighting skills. All the different things put together that he knows. And he just cleaned house. And don't get me started on that strength. You can get an idea of that strength by how other Spartans, when they're not shooting, they can literally just punch out big things like that with their raw punches. Like that. So they are definitely not normal physically. Definitely way stronger than ordinary human. Even when humans use different things or weapons, there's certain things they just can't break through. While Master Chief can just it's a literal joke like yeah a lot of physical stuff they do is effortless like throw stuff that far physically strong enough to punch through tank armor like this master chief can do visual strength wise we see them tossing big old brutes that are this big behind them beings that weigh over a thousand pounds and these creatures stated to be powerful enough to take out almost any living creature in a one-on-one -on -one fight a group of a dozen armor can almost break through mountains they say and master chief just tosses one to the side like it ain't no big deal like it's nothing master chief has literally the raw strength to drag around something this big it seems to be casual too in a cinematic it was an antimatter warhead with no effort to punch through shit metal you can see him sliding and he just said i'm gonna punch you like that Prometheum knights he takes these attacks from these supernatural beings he even punches them off he's even strong enough to rip off their arm even when you can see the size difference of them there's definitely implications of super strength despite the size difference between the two and stabs him with his own weapon these same beings that he ripped apart these same beings can toss tanks like that, which weigh three metric tons. Bruh, he got equipment that can stab into stuff like that. Even when you have energy shielding, he could just literally straight punch through the energy shielding because he's physically that beast like that. Pushing something and lifting something is different, but he was able to push something that weighed 40 plus metric tons or even kick it. The majority of this is titanium. So that's a big solid chunk of titanium. He's kicking casually in strength. Physical strength wise, he literally shatters a battle rifle straight up using hands. The writer or developer or director has stated that the game itself focuses on stuff that's not their physical aspects. Spartans in general is not just necessarily Master Chief, but of course he counts too because he is a Spartan as well. But don't take my opinion. Listen to the man himself. You know, physicality, I mean, it 
seems like Spartans are strong, but when I look at it, I always wonder, is Spartans actually strong enough to actually pick up that, the capsule that they did that were just in the, and then just throw it overboard like that easily? If you, if you go play the game, um, Spartans can literally flip over warthogs and tanks, and they're very, very strong, and that's an aspect. Physical ability, you don't see much in the game because the game tends to concentrate on gunplay and movement. It doesn't really give you many opportunities to show off your strength, but they can rip you know, machine gun turrets from their mountings. They can, again, turn vehicles over. They can skyjack banshees. These guys are physically very, very powerful. So that, that scene isn't out with the bounds of reason for what Spartan's capable of. Spartan's gender is kind of irrelevant. I mean, they still end up being about seven foot, about 400 pounds. You know, they can bench press a tank, like we mentioned. Hey, I didn't say it. The developer said it. I know tanks in this universe look a lot different from tanks in real life, but they're still massive. I mean, this is implying that Master Chief and them could possibly be able to live 60 plus tons physically. Of course, adding in the augmentations, augmenting him with Mjolnir armor, all that stuff put together is enabling them to be able to do stuff like this. It's even stated in the manuals about your strength in Halo. The Mjolnir armor allows you to, to right overturn vehicles by standing next to the vehicle and pressing the, you know, the video game button. You can literally turn them over with your strength. And to make matters worse, this was done by earlier armors guys with them flipping or bench pressing tanks if the older armors can flip a tank this is basically considered an oversimplification uh multiplies their strength by five are you sure it seems like more than five to me if you could flip over a tank but that's none of my business armors like this should even be better than this and older armors can flip tank physically speaking of flipping tank the newer armors have been shown to be able to do stuff like this in cinematics so it kind of adds up to what the actual director said so it's not necessarily the outlier from the super soldier you see it right there. You can literally see a Spartan do that to a tank with a literal punch shockwave. Like what? Meaning that Master Chief should be able to do similar things to other Spartans because he's one of the best. Especially in later upgraded armor if it was stated that older armors can flip tanks. That's the way to get an idea of how strong he is by the people he fights. Fighting beings that are physically super strong as crap. Even in extended fights, one on freaking one. Hand to hand combat. Just to show you this in a more extended fashion. So you can understand while fighting this guy's a beast. Just let it drag out even more. So you can literally see him slugging it out with people this strong. Why is slugging it out with this guy extremely impressive for Master Chief? Because this is the same particular Spartan that flipped the tank. To show that his power is comparable to other Spartans like this. Even if he doesn't directly flip a tank, he can literally slugfest it with people like that. Do you see this freaking shockwave a Spartan created? You can see the tank literally flipping over. The guy he literally slugfested with can literally fly through walls like it ain't no big deal. Just to show the casualness of how doing stuff like this ain't nothing for Spartan. And that the writer was telling the truth about these Spartans in general. Respect Master Chief. For the guy that can do that. Thick stone stuff like that. It just ram through it. They can stomp you that hard while slamming. That's how strong Spartans are. Strong enough to do that and just rip through them like this. This is just savage. They get tossed. Humans get tossed that far. This new gen. Elites. They can just hit you one time and that's it. Spartans are not afraid of popping necks either, might I add. This isn't necessarily Master Chief on this particular occasion, but she's someone very similar to Master Chief, so you can kind of get an idea of how strong Master Chief is based on other Spartans. Fighting this big old brute, showing agility and dodging, fighting speed, even punching beings that big, just with brute physical capability. Kicking and just striking power, messing them up that way. Whatever other Spartans can do, he could be able to do as well. You get to see occasions of Spartans handling groups of beings just in their raw skills and just strength slinging them far with their raw ability. This just benefits Master Chiefs. Showing what other Spartans can do. 11 Spartans can take on 30,000 Covenant. Severely outnumbered, but they still can do it. Spartans are shown to be able to rip off the top of tanks. Spartans are literally strong enough to drag 1,300 pounds and sling it like that with one arm. Not only drag it, but literally sling it. Like with strength. When Spartans uppercut beings that go in the air, they can run through boulders larger than themselves with their just charging strength. Different armor upgrades when it comes to just their pure physicals without even talking about their weapons. I haven't even got on that yet. Based on situations like this, where Spartans can go through big chunks of concrete like that, or when times like Spartans you can just go through all that, you can literally bum rush through buildings based on this evidence so far. One can make an argument that they can increase their striking power with their thrusters by giving their whole body more velocity or speed on top of their just raw strength in general. Master Chief has literally fought Spartans that can literally flip tanks like this. 
The director even said it himself. Tank looks like it weighs at least 30 plus tons. He's without no weapons or nothing. He can punch with 30 plus tons of raw force as a bare bones minimum for his strength honestly when it comes to their shields one can make an argument that their shields are even better than their actual strength because not only their armor is durable as heck but they're freaking they can actually make energy barriers on top of it and his mark 5 armor aka armor that's not even top tier yet explosions that big they can withstand stuff like that massive explosions when he's riding on this this big he simply says i'm good then throws a grenade and shoots not only can he fight him but it shows his durability off in this occasion too you can see all the plasma blasting at him falls over stuff that vaporizes other brute type strong beings it can vaporize them but it doesn't vaporize him because of his arm his armor can even protect him from falls like this kilometers easy gel layer could have taken most of the impact and he's good after a fall like that and gets up like, like yeah that armor protected him from all that bs even the artwork shows him falling from freaking orbit dude we've seen different spartans take laser blasts yeah and it's still conscious after that so armor's op again gets blasted still conscious when beings like this can sling around stuff that weighs tons and his armor withstands attacks from these type of beings that can throw things around like that they fought a lot of powerful beings that can give them a run for the money in these armors and they still can endure it. He created a crater like this with the impact, but he was fine. Look how huge these beings that Master Chief has to fight consistently. Just like his striking power, his armor can kind of hold up to even more force, or one could say similar force, because he can withstand missile explosions and stuff. When it comes to the more over-the-top shielding, I'd say this would even go past his physical strength when it comes to how much he can take. Because some shields, normally characters would get completely incinerated by this incineration cannon, but with the shields, they can withstand blasts, they can do crazy stuff like this. The armor itself is durable, but not indestructible. When you add these shields on top of it, it can even give these characters even more protection. I can't say enough how good his marksmanship is. You can see it on plenty of occasions with writer intent and lore, with cinematics, with a freaking pistol. He use all kind of freaking guns. There's plenty of occasions of them showing their marksmanship. I mean, it is a shooter game. You got to have marksmanship, right? When it comes to fighting speed or faster than humans, they're definitely superhuman. They can dodge beam rifles because that's the type of stuff they're consistently fighting against. When it comes to their raw fighting speed, this proves that Master Chief and Spartans can react to things moving at Mach 10. These rifles right here can move that freaking fast when it comes to their raw speed. Definitely superhuman. We've even seen them avoid attack in midair to show their fighting speed even more. They're fast enough to dodge turret fire when it comes to reaction speed. Plenty of proof that they are superhuman. When it comes to speed, they have to face beings that can move faster than I can see. And things that can just blitz you, they have to be able to compete against. This is one of those series where there's a shooting game saga, but the physicals of these characters are so strong that it can almost compete with the actual rifles and the weapons that they use too when it comes to destructive capacity. But then again, I would still say the weapons got the advantage. Like this overpowered weapon, for example, on the Halopedia. Yeah, Halo has its own Wikipedia site. Yeah, don't ask. But they're just a complete package when it comes to everything. When it comes to Spartans being superhuman, being able to create shields for themselves and shoot behind it, throw grenades on top of it, can almost use every element one could say, can punch extremely hard. They have great marksmanship. They have bladed weaponry they can use, energy stuff, energy weaponry they can use to slice you and dice you with. It's just that simple. They're one of those characters where they are scary up close, but I definitely wouldn't want to fight them from long range considering the accuracy, their shieldings on top of it. It's just their versatility on top of all that from far range. It's something I can respect, but what do you guys think? How strong do you think Master Chief is? How strong do you think Master Chief is? Those versus matches when you see people compare him to Captain America don't sound as foolish now that you've seen this video, huh? But I also got to give a quick shout out to everybody that has taken the time to donate to the channel, guys. It helps out a lot, believe it or not.